Our movement is about replacing a failed and corrupt political establishment with a new government controlled by you, the American people. The Washington establishment and the financial and media corporations that fund it exist for only one reason, to protect and enrich itself. The establishment has trillions of dollars at stake in this election. For those who control the levers of power in Washington and for the global special interest, they partner with these people that don't have your good in mind. Our campaign represents a true existential threat like they haven't seen before. This is not simply another four-year election. This is a crossroads in the history of our civilization that will determine whether or not we, the people, reclaim control over our government. The political establishment that is trying to stop us is the same group responsible for our disastrous trade deals, massive illegal immigration, and economic and foreign policies that have bled our country dry. The political establishment has brought about the destruction of our factories and our jobs as they flee to Mexico, China, and other countries all around the world. It's a global power structure that is responsible for the economic decisions that have robbed our working class, stripped our country of its wealth, and put that money into the pockets of a handful of large corporations and political entities. This is a struggle for the survival of our nation. And this will be our last chance to save it. This election will determine whether we're a free nation or whether we have only the illusion of democracy, but are in fact controlled by a small handful of global special interests rigging the system, and our system is rigged. This is reality. You know it, they know it, I know it, and pretty much the whole world knows it. The Clinton machine is at the center of this power structure. We've seen this firsthand in the WikiLeaks documents in which Hillary Clinton meets in secret with international banks to plot the destruction of U.S. sovereignty in order to enrich these global financial powers, her special interest friends, and her donors. Honestly, she should be locked up. The most powerful weapon deployed by the Clintons is the corporate media, the press. Let's be clear on one thing. The corporate media in our country is no longer involved in journalism. They're a political, special interest, no different than any lobbyist or other financial entity with a total political agenda. And the agenda is not for you, it's for themselves. Anyone who challenges their control is deemed a sexist, a racist, a xenophobe. They will lie, 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 and then again, they will do worse than that. They will do whatever's necessary. The Clintons are criminals, remember that. This is well documented. And the establishment that protects them has engaged in a massive cover-up of widespread criminal activity at the State Department and the Clinton Foundation in order to keep the Clintons in power. They knew they would throw every lie they could at me and my family and my loved ones. They knew they would stop at nothing to try to stop me. Nevertheless, I take all of these slings and arrows gladly for you. I take them for our movement so that we can have our country back. I knew this day would arrive. It's only a question of when. And I knew the American people would rise above it and vote for the future they deserve. The only thing that can stop this corrupt machine is you. The only force strong enough to save our country is us. The only people brave enough to vote out this corrupt establishment is you, the American people. Our great civilization has come upon a moment of reckoning. I didn't need to do this, folks, believe me. I built a great company and I had a wonderful life. 
I could have enjoyed the fruits and benefits of years of successful business deals and businesses for myself and my family. Instead of going through this absolute horror show of lies, deceptions, malicious attacks, who would have thought? I'm doing it because this country has given me so much, and I feel so strongly that it's my turn to give back to the country that I love. I'm doing this for the people and for the movement, and we will take back this country for you, and we will make America great again. Hillary Clinton is the vessel, a corrupt global establishment that's raiding our country and surrendering the sovereignty of our nation. This criminal government cartel doesn't recognize borders, but believes in global governance, unlimited immigration, and rule by corporations. It also believes in no borders. Just come on, folks, come on in. This election will determine whether we remain a free country in the truest sense of the word, or we become a corrupt banana republic controlled by large donors and foreign governments. The election of Hillary Clinton would lead to the destruction of our country. This is collusion and corruption of the highest order. We have to investigate Hillary Clinton and we have to investigate the investigation. If you did that in private life, you go to jail. And people have gone to jail for doing far less. She also lost, think of this, she was Secretary of State, lost as much as six billion dollars in taxpayer money. Speaking in secret to a foreign bank, Hillary Clinton said, my dream is a hemispheric common market with open trade and open borders. Well, there go the rest of your businesses and there goes your country, folks. She pledged to dissolve the borders of the United States of America. No borders. You don't have borders, we don't have a country. WikiLeaks has given us a window into the secret corridors of government power where we see a former Secretary of State announcing her desire to end forever the American independence that our founders gave to us and wanted us to have. Hillary Clinton wants to surrender that freedom to these open borders, open trade, and a world government. She refused to make foreign countries take back they're criminal aliens. We have them all over the place. She didn't want to bring them back. They'd bring them back. The countries were smart. They said, we don't want them. We'd say, okay, we'll take them. Murder is the highest it's been in our country in 45 years. You've heard that, right? So we're protecting the borders of foreign countries, but not our borders. And then got immunity from the FBI that included the destruction of her computer. It's just the latest evidence of the hatred that the Clinton campaign has, really for everyday Americans, and you see it. Hillary Clinton wants to really dismantle our Second Amendment, you know? So maybe she should start with her security people. Hillary's staff even has given up secret notes on when she needs to smile. It's all a phony deal with her. My opinion, the only thing she's got going is the rigged media. The DNC, Democratic National Committee, rigged the Democratic election, the primary process, to take it away from Bernie and give it to Hillary Clinton. Bernie made a deal with the devil, and he made a big mistake. When he made that deal, he sold out. We are getting sold out. Our jobs are being lost. Our jobs are being taken. We're being sold out. A vote for Hillary is a vote for more reckless foreign invasions, more Wall Street cheating. The media is simply an extension of Hillary Clinton's campaign. It's just one more way that the system is rigged, a big way. Reporters who work for these outlets like the Washington Post or the New York Times may think of themselves as journalists, but they're actually just cogs in a corporate political machine. The dishonesty of the New York Times is unbelievable. The dishonesty of the Washington Post is unbelievable. The dishonesty of all of those cameras, so many of them, not all of them, 
is unbelievable. It's actually corruption. The emails also show that Hillary was given the CNN town hall questions before her big debate. The media can't report on the establishment because the media largely is the establishment and the corrupt media is teamed up against you, the American people. I mean, these are dishonest people we're dealing with. These are very, very dishonest people. It's a disgrace. What's going on with the media is disgraceful. And it's happening to all of us. Believe me, it's happening to all of us. They get the businesses, they get the cash, and you know what we get? We get the drugs. She's crooked as a $3 bill. I used to say a $2 bill, but now they make $2 bills. These politicians have been lying to you for years. This is a liar. And she's a bad person. Remember that. She's a bad, bad person. You see where they want to sell now? They want to have the internet run by the world? We are going to replace our corrupt global establishment that has failed us. We're going to replace the failed leadership in Washington who have betrayed you, squandered your wealth, and sold out your country. Who negotiates these deals? Incompetent people or corrupt people. We're going to make history together. You're going to look back at this election and say this is by far the most important vote that you've ever cast at any time in your life, November 8th.